Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna we got a uh, Xbox with a no video problem. This is an Xbox One X. These are very nice. A uh, customer brought it in because first he was getting a um, a green screen and then I, it just started getting worse and worse so I tested the hard drive. The hard drive was good. So we are going to replace the retimer chip, the video AC retimer chip. As you can see in the video, we're going to be replacing it, removing it, and then replacing it with this new one. The part number is TDP158. You can find this on, on eBay, and you can also find it on our website at wayayo.org. Uh, information, there's going to be more information in the description of the video. If you guys have any questions, you can always ask. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare the area. Today we're going to be using Mechanic UV80. Uh, let me see. Flux paste. You can find this on the usual places. AliExpress, Amazon. I don't know, I got mine at, at a, on eBay, I believe. Anyways, I'd like to test different fluxes to see how they work, but this one actually works pretty, pretty well. So we're going to put a little bit of this here. Get our tweezers prepared. As, as soon as we pick it up, we're gonna set the other one back on there. We're not gonna clean up the solder paste or anything. We don't, it's not necessary. I mean, if you want it to go even smoother, you can, but. will be fine so there's the AC chip temperature and heat gun is 860 you can be a little higher as long as you can control the heat you should be fine. I like to work fast but also efficient. Make sure that I do things right at the first time. Ship it out. Ship is there. Now there's no real, there's no easy way to tell if the chip is aligned. You just kind of get a feeling for it and also the way it flows, the way it moves when, when you're applying heat. It kind of just flows into place. I've used this method before and we're going to use it again. There's an easy way to do this. We're going to use some solder paste and apply some on the sides. And 
that should be enough. Now we're going to turn on our soldering iron. Come back with the heat gun. And just go around like this. Now all the pins on the, or the pads or the legs you can say on the uh, chip are well attached to the motherboard. We will verify by zooming in. So you can see I think that's good. Uh, that all these pins here are, are well aligned and attached to the board. We're going to rotate it and make sure they're attaching on the other side. Maybe this needs a little work here. We can easily do that. And these ones are fine as well. Oops, sorry. So we don't want to have to open the machine again. Just double checking. We can make sure that everything is properly soldered. So only those two sides we can right here. We use the same procedure. We'll apply a little bit of solder paste. We'll do it here, even though it looks good. I want it to look better. Can get a little messy. Some solder paste. I'm sorry, some flux. Grab your heat gun. That's good. That's what they said. Perfect. Oh, sure. you guys couldn't see, huh? Well, there you go. This is this is what this is what it looks like now. Let me focus here. Hold on. So I made sure that on all four sides the pins are touching properly. And I retouch those right there, just now. And then I did this one here, last. I'm sorry for the, uh, it looks like it's not wanting to focus properly right now. I don't know why, I think that's better. Okay.
now we can clean it up and we do that by applying some alcohol really cute And that's it. If you guys have any questions, you can feel free to comment on the video or ask in the video on the description on the uh, comments. Like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. For service and repairs, feel free to contact us at W A Y A Y E O. Looks good. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys again soon.